Humans are so very ugly. Such unfortunate looking creatures. You poor thing. I know you had no control over being born as a people. Such lack of color. Devoid of all creativity. Disgusting. Wretched. Horrifying to a clown's eyes. But no worries, my sweet little cupcake. Kitsy the Clown is here to save you. Yes, I will rescue you from beige mediocrity. You're welcome. I can make you colorful, fine, and oh so very cute, just like me. All we have to do is give you a clowny clown makeover. No worries, it's not scary at all. You may even find it relaxing. You get to sit still and be pampered by Kitsy. We get to make you pretty. We do need to start with some grease paint on that facey face of yours. Now, as you can see, my grease paint is very loved. <gasps> And also, it's a storage case for all my little shiny whiny gems and trinkets and also spare eyelashes. But no worries, the filthiness doesn't detract from the usefulness of my grease paints. See? It's just as clowny white as it should be. It'll still turn your face into a magically blank canvas. <laughs> and all you have to do is sit there and get so wonderfully gloppily grease painted. Now, first, we're going to just pat, 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 pat it all over your face before we even begin blending it in because we need a nice, thick layer of clown skin. That's the first look. That's the first step to any clown look. I'm getting ahead of myself, aren't I? I know. It's just that I get so excited watching a human turn into a clown. I can't give you clown blood, not without magic. But we can help you look the part, can't we? Look. Look how wonderfully sticky, thick, suffocating to the skin. And it's summer strudel noodle. Oh boy, are you ever going to be suffering under this pancake face? <laughs> yeah, that's really nice, Jill. Okay, now let's blend, blend, blend it in with nice, even strokes. Like we're painting a wall. You know, I'm going to be painting my bedroom this weekend, yeah. A nice, smoky pink color. Pretty, pretty, pretty pastel circus. I'm thinking like the color of my hair. Do you think that'll make my bedroom look like Pepto-Bismol? Or do you think it'll make it look like a cotton candy paradise? I'm hoping for cotton candy paradise. I'll let you come see it if you want. Do you want to come see my room after I paint? 
You can't be there while I'm painting. I like to be left alone while I paint. I need to be alone with my thoughts because they get so noisy, 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 noisy. And I need the opportunity to be able to listen to each one, you know? Make sure everyone in my head is evenly heard. All these little characters that all have an opinion. Okay. That's perfect, Strudo Noodle. Next, you need eyeshadow for my favorite palette. As you can see, this one is also very well loved. We're using all of Kitsy's favorites on you today. I know they're grubby, grimy, but it's an honor to be allowed to be made over in all of my very favorites. It ensures that you're going to be a prettier clown. A prettier clown. A prettier clown. So very adorable. Mm. Do you like this strudel noodle? Mm. Do you like Kitsy painting you? Transforming you? Do you like being something other than yourself? An escape from your normally dull reality? Good. You should. This is meant to be enjoyable. <laughs> Look. Oh my gosh, all the colors. How happy does that make you? It makes me happy. Oh, so very happy. Just look. You can see the glitter colors got the most love. In fact, I'm completely out of blue glitter. And I hurt the pinks and the blues the most because they're just my favorite. Sometimes I dabble with these finer glitters, but mm, they're not really my favorites. You can also see that the purples get quite a bit of play. I love the purples. And I'm actually thinking this color right here would be also very perfect for you. So, isn't it fluffy? Isn't it so fluffy and salty? Does it tickle? Does it tickle your cute little face? Oh, just a fluffy brush. Tickle, tickle, tickle. I know. It's so soft. And it's so ticklish. Tickle, tickle, tickle. You're so cute. Okay. Enough playing. What do you think this is? A circus? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Let's get some purple. Here you go. Close your eyes. And try not to move your eyeballs too much when they're too twitchy. The color just doesn't seem to go on as evenly. You know, I don't like that, and then I get mad, and then I transcend brattiness, and then sometimes I just react so violently. How is it that such a cutie little clown is prone to such anger? I don't know, but it happens. It happens. Alright, close your eyes. Close them. Sit still. Just relax. Let's do some sort of cues. You're so cute. You are. I could tell just looking at the foundation 
have a canvas that I'd be working with that you would be a really precious sort of clown, you know, and just so cute. Now, we do need to paint on some eyebrows and eyeliner, and since we're working with all of Kitsy's favorites, I'm gonna give you little cat eye just like I have because that's the cutest everything I do is the cutest option so close your eyes again and let's nice smooth confident strokes good you're so good at this you're so good at being good you know hmm. Stop that. Look at it. I compliment you, and now the eyeliner isn't behaving. Alright, big, happy arches for your eyebrows. It's very important. And you should always place them like an inch up to open up your... Now this is where I start getting excited because now that the face is almost done, I can see everything coming together. I can see the clown you're going to be. Don't you feel happier already? Lighter? Giggly? It's okay to give out a little giggle. <laughs> I asked you to sit still. You don't have to be silent. If you feel yourself bubbling over with giddy, joyous, happy clown mirth, let it out. Give me a giggle, give me a guffaw, tee hee ha ha, tee hee ha ha, tee hee <laughs> That's great, Nato. That's really great. Surely, it warms my heart to see you blossoming into your full circus potential. Isn't that lovely? Something to see. A very momentous life event. Now, mascara. Because, listen, here's one of my biggest pet peeves that I see with people doing clown makeup, costume makeup in general, but I keep seeing it on these new clowns and it grates my freaking nerves. They'll do their eyes all up, painted, colored, gorgeous, and for some reason, none of these people are putting on mascara, so you just see this ugly freaking fringe ruining the whole look. They need to stop, but you know what? Kitsy's here. To make sure that you don't fall prey to that same ugly mistake. There will be no ugly clowns on my watch. No. No, no, no. So, let us glop it on. Really give you some spider legs because no amount of mascara is too much. Mascara. Oh, don't forget the bottom lips. Sounds like rain out there, huh? I wonder if the circus tent's gonna get wet. We do have a few leaks in it right now, but that's okay. I'll protect you. I'll get you a poncho or something so all that gorgeous new makeup on your brand new face doesn't get washed away. Hm. Great. Okay. Now for cheeks. I would like it if they were made of glitter now see this glitter is kind of dangerous because when i first bought it half the reviews said it was really beautiful it stays on all day it's bold it's bright and then the other half of the reviews said that people were getting chemical burns from it and i have really really sensitive skin so i was super spooked um but I was gifted it anyway, so of course I used it because clowns love 
free things more than anything else. And the first time I used it, it was fine. The second time I used it, I used red and it completely singed my eyelids off. Not my eyelashes, no, my eyelid skin was just gone in a strip, disgusting. So of course, as soon as it healed, I tried another color and then I was okay. So I think we just need to avoid red. So for you, you'll be getting this bronzy, goldy color, just like, see? I used to hear on my cheeks and it's very cute. So, since we're using all of Kitsy's favorites today, we're gonna be using it on you. Look, ah, oh, look how shiny, fun, oh my gosh. So exciting. So we're gonna really clop it on so I can give you big, shiny, copper penny cheeks. Oh, you're so cute. <gasps> I can barely stand it. It's making my eyes water. Or maybe that's just like bright studio lights on eyes that have contacts in them. Oopsie poopsie. And astigmatism, but you know, the show must go on through the tears of a clown. Literally. You'll learn all about that, Studio Noodle. But it's so cute to be a clown, but gosh golly gee, is it ever uncomfortable? But every performer must power through. <laughs> Are you feeling uncomfortable yet? Doing okay? Alright, just wait until we get the wig on and then you're gonna be an itchy, witchy mess. Even though I promise the lace on it is Oh, so very soft, but it's gonna be sitting on your forehead and it's gonna be itching the skin that has the grease paint on it, but okay, you know what? We'll get to that when we get to it, okay? I still need to get lipstick on you. This is the lipstick I'm wearing right here. Honestly, I think like the last six times I've filmed, I've worn this lipstick. It's called Creator. So maybe it just gets me in the mood or maybe it's just a perfect purple. It's certainly not easy to wash off. I have to wear it the whole rest of the day. But it's so cute, so cute. Got it pinky, purpley, and it's so wonderfully matte. Oh. And it's creamy. Wait till you feel it on your lips. It is so delightful. Yeah. It's like frosting a cupcake, right? So smooth. And it smells like vanilla. I don't know how. It's not planned. And I use a bunch of different brands for my lipsticks. But somehow they all smell like vanilla. Maybe my house just smells like vanilla. Maybe everything is sweet and cupcakey and donutty and all dusted with wonderful powdered sugar or crystallized sugar. I think I like crystallized sugar better because it's glittery. And honestly, powdered sugar makes me choke. I don't know how to eat it without first breathing it in and then it's just pain rather than a delicious treat in my clown tummy honestly i don't know how to eat powdered sugar if you know how please tell me strudel all right now i always like to do hair before i get dressed it really sets the mood. So for you, Studio Noodle, I have my mermaid wig. See how pretty it is? It's messy, messy, which is one of my very favorites. It's got these like gorgeous trailing ringlets. It's pink, it's lavender, it's green, it's blue. Oh, it looks like jelly beans if you weaved them into hair. Look. Don't you just love this judo noodle look right here? We match. We match a little bit. Yeah. So maybe by the time I'm done, we'll look like sisters. 
You want to be my sister, student, you know? Do you want to be my sister? Okay. Well, we don't have to tell anyone, though, okay? Don't tell anyone. I never really hated <laughs> That's just something that stays in your head, okay? Just a little, little imaginary fun. Don't actually tell anybody that. Thank you. All right. Let's get this put on. See, it just slips right on. We barely need to style it. Just a little bit of... Oh, in your face. Finger combing. That's good. Isn't the length just gorgeous? I know. It goes all the way down to my hips on me, but also I'm super petite, so. Like this right here was supposed to be a little bob, but you can see it's actually kind of long. Okay, okay, stop rambling, stop. You are distracting me. I think the more you look like a clown, the more I get distracted and I keep thinking you're a clown and we can just chitter chatter, chitter chatter, chit 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 chat 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 chit 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 chat chat chat. Like a couple of giggling geese. That's clowns, isn't it? Okay, so. Ah. The almost final touch. No, the final touch. It is the final touch. The clothes. Yes, 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 yes. So. Kitsy's favorites. I got you one of my very favorite onesies. It is this one. Also super colorful. So it'll match your hair. I know it looks like it'll be tight, but I promise it stretches, it stretches, it stretches. I've worn it when I'm 20 pounds up and I've worn it when I'm 20 pounds down. So you will be just fine. Look at the glitter. You notice something about this glitter? Huh? Do you notice anything about this glitter? Do you know? No, not glitter. Sequins. It's sequins. Right, 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 right. Okay. These sequins match the glitter that we used to make your cheeks. Oh my god, so cute. Now, couple of things I need to tell you. Firstly, it's dirty down the front. Or it was last time I wore it. There's, oh yeah, look, there's a little streak. I have no idea what that is. I lent this to a clowny friend. It came back with a stain. I asked about it and she said she got it like that. I feel like that's a lie. So, you know, whatever she got into was her business, I guess. Well, I guess now it's your business, too, because you have to wear it. And on the back, somehow, are a lot of makeup stains. But the thing is, it's human makeup. Like, that looks like beige foundation. Like, maybe it was worn backwards and someone motorboated me. Honestly, I have no recollection of that. But also, why else would a human's face have been on my chest well i know why but i just don't remember the context or the why or the when or the where whatever all right so let's get you into we're gonna do first one leg good you can hold on to me to study yourself if you need to and then the other leg then pull it up to your shoulders Good, good, good. The sleeves, fluff them out. Good, good. How are you feeling? You look so cute, Stu. <laughs> so much cuter than you were half an hour ago. You were such an ugly human, you know, just between you and I. <gasps> but as a clown? I think maybe you should stay here. Maybe we should do a little magic transformation to turn you into a real clown. But something is missing. Hmm. Something's not quite right. I know. You need a bow. I love bows and you need a bow and I know I have a bow somewhere down here. Let me just dig through my clown kit and <gasps> aha! A big purple bow. 
Isn't that so cute, Stiro Nero? Isn't it so cute? Yeah. So girly, so frilly, so delightfully clowny. All clowny foodness. Listen. Listen. Do you know what that sound is, Judo? It's the sound of you turning into a clown. A delight. Oopsie poopsie. Ew. Now your bow's dirty. Whatever, whatever. Just beat it off real quick. And then we'll just stick it on your cutesy, cutesy little head. And then, Judo Nero, now, finally, you are done. Give me a twirl. Give me a little twirl, Judo Nero. Strike a pose. Ooh, honk. Ooh, how cute are you? That's right. You're adorable. Don't you feel so much better now? Don't you feel like a piece of art? A piece of candy? Oh, one of Kitsy's creations. Maybe I will tear up Strudel Noodle. You just look so cute. I love you so much more now. You're perfect. You're precious. You're the most delightful thing I've ever seen. <laughs> welcome to the circus. Welcome, 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 welcome to the circus, my sweet, adorable, pretty, wonderful, magical Strudel Noodle.